Hello, I hope you are having a great day. In this video, I want to show you something um, that I couldn't find a video for on YouTube. So this is kind of my favorite thing to do um, is just kind of dive in and figure out how something works uh, if someone else isn't available to show me how to do it. Um, and, you know, more than that, uh, I saw a video of someone using the Expressive E Touche with Omnisphere and there were a number of comments asking uh, how to link the two up. So that's what I want this video to be about, is just how I would go about using Touche inside of Omnisphere. Uh, it may not be the best way to do it, there might be a better way to do it, but uh, this is kind of what I have figured out. Um, now keep in mind, you can set up the Touche inside of your workstation itself and kind of detach it from the synthesizer. Uh, at least in some workstations. You can do that in Bitwig. I have a video on how to do it. I'll put that in the description. Uh, but this video, again, is specifically just going to be how would you use the Touche inside of Omnisphere. Uh, and so kind of the bigger picture is that Omnisphere has a ton of options for uh, MIDI learn, for automation. Um, you can even save a default state for Omnisphere and every time you load it up, they call it a multi, but you could have your all your MIDI parameters just kind of loaded up every single time that you use Omnisphere. Um, another thing you can do is save MIDI learn templates and then load them uh, for a given patch. So if you wanted to say for the Touche, uh, get your parameters linked up uh, to the different uh, MIDI CCs, then you could save them as a template and then recall them that way. Um, so Another good thing to know, um, again, just generally applicable to all MIDI devices working with Omnisphere, is you've got some get out of jail free cards. You have a clear all MIDI learns. This is really nice if you just want to start with a fresh uh, slate for MIDI, and then you can also revert to the saved patch. So if your MIDI device is kind of screwing up what the parameters were for the patch, you can just go here, revert to saved patch, uh, and boom, you're back to square one. So the patch I've got here, uh, actually is uh, set to, okay. Yeah, so this is just the the fresh uh, fresh patch here. Nothing's been changed yet. I had to check because I was figuring all of this out literally before I hit record. So it's a beautiful patch. Uh, if I say wanted to use the Touche with it, uh, maybe the first thing I would wonder is, well, what should I modulate? Um, so a good way to answer that question is just to, uh, you may have seen me use the mod wheel uh, as I was just trying to preview that patch and see what it sounded like, but you can come to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can come to this modulation uh, area and press on the down arrow and you can see what's being modulated. Um, so generally, if you look to what the wheel is modulating, that's going to give you some ideas. Now, the filter cutoff, that's a pretty obvious one. Um, there's some other things as well. Uh, E2, P1, you might be wondering what the heck that is. So it's not very uh, self-evident. So you just click it to figure out what that represents. So in this case, it looks like it's an effect, the Toxic Smasher. So uh, yeah, just click the parameter that you want to learn more about, and that's going to show you what it is. So um, with all that out of the way, how are we going to teach the Touche uh, what parameters to modulate in Omnisphere? And it turns out it's really easy. Uh, you just right click whatever parameter you want. So in this case, we're gonna do the filter cutoff. And then uh, you've got the option for MIDI CC Learn or MIDI CC Learn Inverted. Uh, one is going to, I'm just going to press uh, MIDI CC Learn, start with that one and press down on my touche, which is actually right for me, but for the normal orientation, it is the down position. Uh, and now the filter cutoff is being modulated. Uh, and that's actually happening across all of the oscillators. I think that that's an Omnisphere setting uh, and you can modulate oscillator uh, panes independently. Um, I think this yellow dot indicates that they're linked somehow. Uh, I, I'm not an Omnisphere expert. I'm trying to get there, but it's a pretty deep uh, uh, VST. So anyways, we have all the filter cutoffs being modulated now. Mm -hmm. 
So it's as simple as that. Um, and then if you wanted to get a different direction on the touche learned, you just right click a different parameter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, my voice just loves to crack on these videos. Uh, let's do the inverted for a different direction here on the envelope, filter envelope. Ooh, it's starting to sound messy. Uh, and it's that easy. And again, you can save this as a template uh, if you wanted to recall this later uh, for different patches. Um, but yeah, that is how I would uh, link things up uh, with just Omosphere and the Touche or, or really any, any MIDI device. Again, this is kind of just generally applicable. Um, but I wanted to do this for the Touche because I saw there were people kind of wondering how to do it. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful and I really appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your day.